G'day guys. So, since I'm over the moon with actually using my phone to record the videos now, since you can see so much more of my workspace that I use for the um, lock picking, I thought I'd give you a bit of a rundown on my lock picking station here. Um, since I've actually got a, I can use a camera that you'll be able to see all of it now. So, as you can see in front of you, this is where I do most of my lock picking. I've got most of my locks sitting up here at the front that I have. Um, these are all ones that I've picked on camera, although I've got a couple there that I haven't. But i um, got some challenge locks that I've made up sitting over here, which is Arnold versus the Predator. You can probably tell I like the Predator. Got it up there. Um, I actually love the Predator movies and that so much that in fact if i go over here i've actually got a predator motorbike helmet that i wear <laughs> so yeah absolutely love the predator but anyway run down on my lock picking station so yeah this is my main pick area here over on the right hand side move this around see i keep my lock picks over here they're the two homemade ones. Got all my picks in the case just here. Um, this is actually a pencil case that I picked up pretty cheap. One of the fold up ones. And it works perfect for holding the picks. So always keep them there. I've got a case here with my dimple picks. The dimple locks. Got my vice over here this is actually that challenge lock that i did in the last video i'm actually um attempting to pick this one before i send it out so i've got some more bottom of the keyway tensioners just sitting there need to find something to put them in uh here i've got some the locks that don's lock sent in these are the ones when i turn the challenge locks Got a new one that I picked up. I haven't done a video on yet. Got my Dremel, which is just hanging up here for when I make all my picks. And it's got the or the um, key pins and pins. Got the pencil grip attachment on it, so I can just stick that in the vise. Then if I move it around, got. My big light, which is sitting just there, probably blinding you. I keep screwdriver over here and the ruler. So I've always got the screwdriver on hand. And then up here is where I keep my giant pinning tray. I've got some tools up here that I need, stuff like that. So circlip removers follower tweezers everything i can keep on hand got a knife got some spare picks up there and some spare stuff if i need it and then my messy drawer which is right next to me here it's where i got files a container that's got some locks in it got some more locks over here sandpaper Spare keys and keys blocks just shoved in here. It's pretty messy. As you can see quite a bit laying around in there. So I like to keep that right next to me. And then another drawer with all my spare wiper blade inserts. That I just picked up some more the other day. So I've got 148 sitting there. So I'm going to be making some stuff out of that pretty soon. But that is pretty much my whole lock picking station even though it's a giant desk i don't take up that much room on it this is just my whole area designed for picking and you can probably tell i've got another light more lighting just up here so just above everything hopefully that way then get too many shadows and makes it clearer to see when I'm picking but anyway it's a quick rundown on my 
lock picking station, my workstation, now that you can see most of it. Um, hoping to get a bit more stuff to put up here on the backboard to make it look a bit better. But yeah, I'm going to have to work on that. But anyway, as always, always follow the codes. Keep Locksport legal. Don't do anything silly. Um, if you like what you see, don't forget to give a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe. I'm up to 74 subscribers. But normally when I say that, I always pick up one. So when I make this video, it's 74 subscribers. Getting closer to 100. But um, yeah, so till next time. Cheers, guys.